Woo! We're live! <laughs> we are off to go get some dinner. We're on a adventure date. And I had this idea. I wanted to do this last week, but it was for the July weekend. And I hope you guys were having fun. I hope you were doing lots of fun things. We did a lot of stuff with friends and family. We put a beach in. It was a good time. Yeah. We actually, I have like the best hubby ever to, uh, to deal with my family. Um, <laughs> oh, my family's great. It's great. It's great. Yeah. Uh, and then we hung out with my uh, friend. Um, and yeah, we went boating, a little boating, hung yeah. out. So we had a great 4th of July. Mm-hmm. So now that we're done with the, the holiday, we wanted to come, come on here and talk about growing a business on social media. And if, if you are doing that, you need to be doing this one thing. Yes. What is that one thing, Joey? The one thing is being consistent with your posting. So you really want to make sure that whatever consistency looks like for you, you are able to do that. And whichever platform or platforms that you can handle, do those things. So if you can do one TikTok a day and then also put that over into an Instagram reel, if that's all you can do a day, great. Do that every single day. If you can bump it up to making it a Facebook and Instagram post along with one or two TikToks, that is going to be even more amazing. So you guys really want to make sure that you are showing up on your social media and being consistent in showing up because people want to do business with people that they know, like, and trust. And by you posting things about yourself, about your business, those types of things, they're going to know, like, and trust you. Yes. So I know oftentimes, like when I'm talking with people, they, they'll, they'll say things to me like, well, I don't know what to post. I don't know what to say. Um, I don't, I don't have time. And what I've really found is that those are actually all all just excuses for the main reason that they don't post or they're not consistent and that it's fear. Um, and it's usually a fear of what somebody or, um, like some buddies, a bunch of people are going to be thinking of them when they start posting, maybe in a new manner or a new way. So yes, like it, it doesn't take a whole lot of time to put some content together, even, even shooting videos it's like, with short form video, the way it is now, like you can, you can put content up pretty, pretty fast, um, writing a post, uh, even like, um, us and our team, like we have you know, sample posts and stuff for them to be able to choose from. Um, so it makes things really fast and easy. Uh, but even with all that, the number one thing that holds them back is fear of what somebody's going to be thinking or saying to them. I mean, Joey and I don't fall, fall into this category um, as well. Yeah. As well. Yeah. It has nothing to do with like, oh, I can't find time. I mean, you know, maybe, maybe a little bit here in the summer or everybody's vacationing, they might have cell phone service and stuff, but really it just comes down to they're afraid of um, what people are going to be thinking of them when they start posting it, it might get me over a different, different way. Which is definitely a valid point. But one of the things that you can be thinking of is as you are showing up as yourself on social media, you're going to be repelling the people that might not like that, but you're also going to be attracting your tribe. You will be attracting the type of people that say, yeah, I'm just like that. Yeah, I think that same way and so eventually you will be having more people that want to listen to you that want to hear and get educated by you they're you're going to love the value that you are giving to them and what's really important with that is once you do have something that hits so say something uh starts to go you start to get trend on uh TikTok. you start to get a viral TikTok. or i was talking with um, another pet pro and she had, she found this little gold mine, this little nugget of a lot of people that were looking for extra income. They were like, please, if you have some way of making an extra income, please let me know what that is because I need extra money for at the end of the month, my bills aren't getting paid. I need this. 
And so she found this little gold mine of people that were looking for an extra income. And that's one reason why it's so important to, to make sure that you're showing up because you don't know when that dam is going to break, when you're going to have people flooding and coming to you to say, hey, I, I'm going to go and look at this person and see if this, somebody, if this is somebody that I want to do business with. It's a brand new person I just found online. They're going to go and check out your profile on, on Facebook or even on TikTok, and they're going to see, is this somebody I want to do business with? Yeah, this goes for any of the platforms. So, like, when then somebody goes and looks at your, your stuff, and you know, maybe maybe you post it in a group, and it's got a lot of people excited about whatever it is you're talking about. It could be product based, could be service, uh, it could be opportunity. Um, but one of the things is now they're going to go click on your or you message somebody, and you're going to click. They're going to click on your profile, and they're going to go look at you and when nothing really like we have like one post a year or every couple of months like and if people don't don't like know who you are right. so it almost kind of looks a little scammy uh, so just making sure that you're you're being consistent with your posting it doesn't have to be an, it's not every day it doesn't necessarily have to be an everyday kind of thing but like hey just whatever you know maybe maybe it's once or twice a week level of consistency, but just making sure you're doing those posts. And like I was saying earlier, like, you know, there, there can be a lot of fear around what people might think. And the reason I, I wanted to bring that up was just so, just so you, like you're aware of why you're not doing it. And like, just with everybody we've coached and talked with and worked with that, that ends up being like, why they're not, why they're not doing it. So yeah. like it, like being consistent and posting whatever social media platform you're on is super important and just recognize that if you're not doing it, you have some sort of fear around that. Um, it, it, really, it really has nothing to do with, with time. I'm sure I could go and look at every, like, I don't know if you know this or not, but you can actually go and look and see how much screen time you spend on social media. And I guarantee most everybody uh, that watches this um, has spends hours a week on, on between the various platforms, probably hours on each platform. Let's be honest. Yeah. So like, and then you, then you're not making any posts. It's like, well, you're just there consuming. You're not actually producing. Content. Right. And so we really want people to be able to get to know. You. Um, we really want them to, you know, to show up as you. Um, I had a nugget, but. I've lost it now. I was trying to remember it. To dinner time I was trying to remember, but you kept queuing up the good things. More nuggets. Yeah, I know. Um, let me see. What was it? I'm trying to remember. Think, 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 think. I got to look up the uh, basically, guys, we just really want you to be consistent. Share this with your teams. Share this with other people that are in business. It doesn't even have to be network marketing because it is important for any kind of business that you are showing up consistently. And um, just, yeah, give us some love. Um, leave a comment if this resonated with you guys. But share it with your teams and let us know. Like, um, oh, I remember what it was. Uh, just because you post something and something might not be getting a lot of traction. Maybe you made this really heartfelt post on Facebook and you're just like, yeah, that was amazing. I had a great uh, picture along with it. And then you just didn't really get much traction on it. Know that just because people might not have commented on it or maybe they didn't like it doesn't mean people aren't watching. I have had time and time and time again where somebody came to me and they're like, oh, yeah. I've been watching you for a long time. I've been watching you forever. And I'm like, what? I never even thought, no, that you knew that you like liked anything or that you had, you never commented on anything. I had no idea that this person would ever be interested in a product or the opportunity or anything like that. So know that just because a post maybe didn't get a ton of traction doesn't mean people aren't watching. So get out there. Um, be consistent 
and show up as your real self because that you'll be able to find the people and you will attract the people that should be around you and that need to hear from you. So I hope this resonated with you guys. Enjoy your Tuesday night. We're going to be going to dinner here soon and we'll be talking to you soon. Bye. Bye.